I'm Billy. I'm the nerd. That's not how Billy talks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not heard sure nerds? I'm pretty sure that's how Billy talks. He, he says affirmative a lot. You need glasses. Affirmative. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ready, Steady, Play. Yeah. It's morphin' time. We're, yeah. <laughs> wait, until, wait until it's actually morphin'. Uh, oh, fine. Oh my god, yeah, we don't even have our Zorgs yet, Michael, god. <laughs> no, god. Before you get your Zords, obviously. How can you call your Zord if you're not morphed? We're good. I've got That's a Zord, is that like a Zorg? No, it's a Zord. It's a, ba- it's a, it's a, it's a battle robot called a... Called a Zord. Zord. We need dinosaur power, now! Now! Actually, you're meant to say that because you're red. So you say that. Yeah, say it, Michael. We need dinosaur power. Now! Yeah. <laughs> Good job. And then I go, okay. And I go, <laughs> affirmative. <laughs> In case you didn't know, that's Chris playing on his weapon. <laughs> or in this case, sorry, Tommy Oliver. Yeah. What a sweet sound it Oh makes. my god, that's like all these named backwards. Well, so, Tommy Oliver. Oh, yeah. Oliver Thomas, isn't it? Oliver Thomas, yeah. yeah. That's funny. That is funny. Everyone, Tommy Oliver, of course, the longest serving Power Ranger of all time. Played mm. by Jason David Frank. Legend. This is a Power Rangers game called Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. It's a cooperative board game in which the three of us will take on the roles of Power Rangers. I'm, I'm Mike, by the way. And this is Green Chris, Ranger. Green Chris. Ranger. And that's Michael. Yeah, I'm the Red Ranger. <laughs> and we're mighty Morphin Power Rangers because we're the original lineup and go, not go any of these Power spin-offs or whatever. So that was the Power Ranger music. Sorry. Yeah. That's spot on. I was actually confused because I thought we were in the show. I don't actually know how sarcastic that was because to be honest my recollection of Power Rangers is a lot worse than these guys. <laughs> but uh, I do, I did watch I, it as a kid so I'm quite excited to play the Blue Ranger because I remember I liked him. Yeah, he's cool. That's about all I got. The Blue Ranger was cool. Billy Cranston played by David Yost. Or Yost or however you say that. And sure. You're, you're Jason Lee Scott, played by, of course, by Austin St. John. Austin St. John, what a yeah. name. Or, or Sinjin. That almost sounds weird po- people. Almost sounds po- that almost sounds porn star. <laughs> there was a rumor <laughs> that he was he had done the gay porn after Power Rangers, but it was a total, it was totally untrue. Because Chris looked yeah, everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in this one. <laughs> <laughs> not that one either. <laughs> it's like who's that other one? Isn't it? Um, Burr something and yeah, the guy from uh, Adam West Batman and Robin the Robin from that there's a, apparently he's a gay porn actor I watched that oh now. yeah yeah I, remember. I think it might be true for him I'm not sure alright oh, um, I couldn't tell if it was him or not <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good likeness <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so- um, so Chris, what have we? You, the, you backed the Kickstarter all in. I did. I, so this I is did. the Kickstarter edition of the game, and Chris has brought a selection of stuff that best represents the Power Rangers experience. Yeah, because it was a lot of stuff, and I wasn't bringing it all the way across London. <laughs> Not all of it, anyway. Um, but yeah, it's mo- this is mostly retail, almost everything. Um, only Kickstarter exclusives we have are we've got the upgraded tokens, which they're right, they're whatever, they're fine. Are they um, better or worse than the Edge of Darkness tokens? They're better than the darkness tokens. <laughs> I, I uh, there's an argument to be made that the regular ones are, are better than these. I don't know. I think these are fine. I think they're okay. Yeah. Um, we're also using one Kickstarter exclusive monster, and we're using the boss we're going to fight is Master Vile, who is a, a retail available expansion. Cool. And we're also we've we've upgraded our Megazord token from the Megazord. base the base uh, Megazord token to the slightly fancier uh, plastic token. Um, Who's also retail available? Uh, so this is the upgrade token wow. right here. Um, <laughs> a bit of an upgrade. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> so right? much of an upgrade, we can't actually fit it on camera. It has to go like sideways. Does he fly? He flies, he, doesn't he? he, he this, this one does not fly. I don't think. I don't think they fly until the fa- into the Met Falcon Mega Falcon Zord. Or Only the pink one flew, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, that was the pterodactyl. In the in the in the. Um, Third season when they get the ninja zords, the yeah. uh, the the white the the white ranger's falcon attaches to the back of the megazord to make it fly. I think mm-hmm. I can't remember. I think that was it. Okay. But yeah, so most as I said, it's mostly we're also using retail available upgrade dice. They're exactly the same, just ranger color specific. And um, we're using the green ranger who is Kickstarter exclusive. Um, yeah, so if y'all wanted to play as Tommy Oliver, too bad. Yeah. 
Oh, he's even whistling. Yeah, he's doing his. Uh, he's what happens when he whistles? The, 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 the dragon sword comes. The dragon sword comes out of the sea. Yeah. But we can't get the dragon sword until we unlock him. Yeah, exactly. So the whistling is ineffective at the moment. Or are you just saving it for a climactic moment? He's he's just kind of ready to do it. He's, not, he's actually not out of his lips. He's kind of just ready for it. It's like, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like. And he has a unique helmet design that allows him to whistle through the helmet, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> I remember you sending me that message. <laughs> I woke up one night to Mike sending me a WhatsApp message saying he was kept up late at night wondering how the Green Ranger used to blow into his flute. Through his helmet. Through his helmet. And also, and also why it sounded like a synthesized trumpet. Uh, though it was a flute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Check out the clips, guys. But yeah, it's very, it's almost this is almost there's there's loads of stuff. There's a whole Shattered Grid expansion which is retail available, which has um it's, if you've read the com- Shattered Grid comic books, it's based on that when Tommy goes evil and it's a bunch of other. Ooh. There's like it's more rangers, more monsters, more foot soldiers, more everything, more locations, and then there's um a couple of extra villains uh like Master Sorry, Master Vile's not Kickstarter. I incorrectly said Master Vile's Kickstarter. Pumpkin Rapper's Kickstarter. Master Vile is from a retail available packet which comes with two extra monsters two extra, and two extra bosses mm-hmm. and then there is the a whole rake of kickstarter exclusive stuff most of which I, we haven't got as I said we only have one monster That's and scary. one power ranger kickstarter exclusive but there's loads that you've got lord zed goldar scorpina the evil evil green ranger all incredibly important normal characters <laughs> that one would have thought would be in the retail game and they're all kickstarter exclusives which is really sad but, but the go. good news is it will be coming back to kickstarter next month so if you missed it, and that's next month from the airing of this, September 2019. So if you're watching this in the distant future, hello, I hope things are better. In the meantime, sorry you missed out on Power Rangers. <laughs> so instead, join us here and watch in the past as if it were the future. When toys were still made of plastic and that was okay. <laughs> so should we my head hurts. I, I can't do time travel like this. This is my brain. <laughs> I guess we should get going, right? We've already said who we are. Uh... Yes. My, spe- my special ability as the Green Ranger is Loner. Um, <laughs> if you are the only player with a Ranger in your location, you may add one die to each of your attacks. It's pretty, pretty beast, I think. And my special ability is that once per battle, I can choose a Ranger, and they can draw a card, and then they can place one card from their hand back on top of their deck. Yeah, so you can, I you just... can fix your deck a little bit. But that's a per- presumably a battle I'm involved in. Yeah. Yes, yes, oh. but I, I want to be like shouting across the park, like, <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Strategize! Strategize! <laughs> What's your special ability, Michael? Uh, and does that mean he can pick himself? Yes, I mean, oh. yeah. I mean, you should, yeah. So, mine is leadership. What do you think I want to pick you? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> Stop bullying me. We <laughs> 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 talk. <laughs> um, I have leadership. Yeah. And it Let's is. Change. Once per battle, <laughs> usually shy away from this. Um, once per battle, a ranger of your choice may re-roll any number of dice during an attack. It's pretty useful. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So the first thing we do is, uh, before every round, including the first round, is we draw five cards from the spawn deck. So I'll do that now. So the uh, red ranger has the power of man spreading. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> That's an important power. All right, so our first spawn is three Super Pipe Patrollers, and they spawn in Angel Grove Park. Oh, wow, look at that spawn deck. Uh, Angel Grove Park is over here. Ooh. So these ones are called Super Putty Patrollers, because they're basically like if one Putty Patroller and another one got thingified. Well, in the TV show, that's not what they look like. These, this super, the design of these super pipe rolls, I'm pretty sure, is from the comic book. Mm-hmm. Oh, what did they look like in the TV show? They just, they just look like regular putties, but they slightly look, I don't know, it's like some aste- slight aesthetic differences. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get one super pipe controller, at also Angel Park. Uh-oh. And card number three is two regular putty controllers at Angel Grove High. Over here. And then we have two super pipe controllers at Angel Grove Park. Uh-oh. Which uh, now panics. Which is, that's, at, that's at maximum capacity of six, so it's panicked. That is a danger zone. I suggest you take care of it, Green Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> and we Sorry, I card. defer to our leader. <laughs> one more card. Which is two, two regular party patrollers at Ernie's Juice Bar. No! Not the Juice Bar! Mm-hmm. Save the Juice Bar! So these five cards then get reshuffled and put back in the bottom of that deck. I see. I have a follow-up question. Why are they so keen to occupy this town? Because um, 
That's the only plot hole in all parishes. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, Angel Grove, because that's where the Zeo Crystal is, even if it's not. But let's just say it is. <laughs> What's the Zeo Crystal? It's the crystal that Master Vile comes to get control of to take over the world, but then actually we end up using it to become the Zero Rangers in season four. And it's, on, it's on the moon. You heard it here first, people. <laughs> Spoilers alert. I know my power range. Yeah. So they thought it was an Angel Grove High, but it was actually on the moon. I mean, that's pretty they bad. They, they, they didn't actually think that. <laughs> they didn't know where it was. They didn't know about it. Only Master Vile knew about it. So. so they just come here because we're here and we want to fight. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, she wants to take over the whole world, and Zordon just picks five teenagers with attitude who happen to, happen to go to Angel Grove High. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> he saw her list of like areas to conquer, and this was number one on the list. Yeah. So he's like, I gotta go there and find five rad teens. I think he was actually, actually, now I'm thinking about it, there's no reason to believe the command center's in Angel Grove. I guess it could be, they teleport. I guess it could be anywhere. <laughs> um, I suppose we should start playing and killing yeah. things, right? Excellent. How do we want to do this? Alright, you're the leader, Red Ranger. You decide. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... I, I oh, no. I'm totally <laughs> spacing in the corner there. Oh, we make your show! <laughs> no! I'm just like... I, I, went in, I reverted back to my uh, usual co-op um, so, gameplay mode. I was like, shrink back and just let everyone do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just follow uh, order. Just do as I'm told. <laughs> um... Listen, here's the idea. You'll decide what to do. I'll do it, even if I might complain about how it's not strategically sensible. And then he'll definitely not do it, unless he decides it also something is what he wants to do, and then he'll do it. Okay. I mean, I get to be independent, is that right? Basically, you get, yeah, you get to be the Green Ranger. I see, because I'm alone. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. I'm a rogue. Well, here's the thing. Here's what I'm thinking. Someone could go to one of the, someone can go to one of these locations that are mm. not very badly done. One action to move there, one action to kill them. Because it's very easy to fight, it should be able to kill them both. Yeah. And a third action to go to this space, and then they can take part in any battle that another ranger initiates there. Yes. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh my god, it's like the <laughs> ranger's mind. Should we do that then? <laughs> Alright, great. Sure. So, I mean, we, we uh, two rangers could do that, right? One, someone can go here and kill and them. Someone and someone could go there. And then kill and kill them. And then we have three rangers here. Yeah. To map up to two battles there together. That sounds good. Well, it makes the most sense for you to take one of these take sides. Take one of them, yeah. So the question is whether or not it's me or Michael that goes to do the other side. Well, should it be me, seeing as I'm a bit more attacky than That's you? That's true, yeah. Alright, that makes the most sense. And then I've got my ability left over to help you guys in the final battle. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Alright, then uh, if no objections, I'll just get things rolling. Do it, Chris. Um, Do it. Teleport. Go, go, Power Rangers. I've teleported Angel to Ernie's juice bar. I'm getting a lovely, gonna get a lovely juice. Pick hey, Ernie, I'll have a... I want yes. a kale detox. Second, <laughs> second action is initiate a battle. So actually, nice. at the start of the game, we actually got the draw of five cards. Oh. We also get to do it with turn combat. So, um, so you yeah. could have ten cards right now. So I'm, and then you'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you almost do. No, you can draw up to... Th no, sorry. Not draw cards up to a number five. Draw cards up to a hand size of five at the start of combat. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll just look at these and decide if I want to draw more. So I'm going to have these. I'm going to draw a fourth card. Yeah, because yeah, so you can actually draw cards one at a time and decide how many you're going to keep. So I'm gonna. I have four cards. I'm, I'm happy with four cards. So I'm gonna fight these empty <laughs> patrollers. <laughs> I'm done. So I'm gonna draw two cards in the Poly Patrol deck in this combat. Nice and simple. Just two. Just two. There's only two Poly Patrollers. Cool. That's a passive card. Health two. Um, while this card is in play, each time another enemy card deals damage, increase it by one. And this is a card that guards it, which does two damage, but will do three damage because of the passive. So this, so I think you have to is, deal with the gun. This is unbelievably <laughs> easy. <laughs> is it? Um, oh, yeah. All right. That was a little bit high-pitched. <laughs> is it? So, so Our I'm noble leader over here. Uh, so I, should, I should have also started with one energy at the start of the game, my personal pool, like you did. I get two energy into, into the, into the uh, shared pool. What was happening? I, I just, I don't know. I'm sassing Michael because he, he, I don't know. He's being I have my leadership skill. <laughs> hey, hey, he's a Red Ranger man. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a respect, naughty blue ranger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fantasy. <laughs> naughty blue ranger. Um, right, so we've got two energy in the share pool. But I'm going to use solo strike to begin with, which is costs zero energy. It's two attack dice. me three because of my loner special ability. And I can reroll any number of attacks from during this, any number of dice during this attack. So that nice. seems pretty good. So you're hitting the cannon fodder? I'm hitting the cannon fodder. So I have... Um, 
three dice. That is only one hit, but I can re-roll any number of them. Nice. And that's two. Two? Oh, no. <laughs> Would you... Crap! What happens if you don't defeat him? Can we do something supportive? We are power friends, and no. we'd like to help. Unfortunately not. That's really bad. Um... <laughs> See? Dice man! <laughs> Maybe oh, it's well, my bad, bad luck omen. That's all right. I'll, I should still be able to kill um, so Once then, per battle, the ranger of... You're not, in the, you're not in the battle. Oh, of course. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, so passive... Rules! <laughs> passive... Uh, that activates this card to activate, but it has, it's a passive card. It doesn't have its own ability. So it doesn't actually do anything nasty. So it's back to my turn. Which Nothing triggers yet. Very, very useful. Um, so I'm going to play Dragon Rush for one energy. So it gets an attack of one mm -hmm. dice, with two dice because a loner. After you resolve this attack, you may perform a second attack with two dice, which will actually be three dice. Nice. So that costs one energy. So two dice on um, cannon fodder. Sorry, Chris, may I ask a question? You've probably uh, told me this already, so yeah. apologies in advance. <laughs> <laughs> but say if you get three damage now, yeah. can you do one and no, then two? No, spread. No, not unless you're special. But Zach, Zach the Black Ranger, has uh, his abilities that him, let him spread leftover oh, damage all the time. Zach. You did, you did constantly mean Zach. So no, one damage needed. Then you'd only roll misses. You need those rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <I> two. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So, Cannon Fodder is dead. Cannon Fodder, oh sorry, it doesn't go away. Because he has the axe that swings round and round and round and round and round, doesn't he? I should put on a chain, even better. And then Dragon Rush says I get to make a two dice attack after that, which is actually going to be a three dice attack. So, Whoa. now I'm going to try and attack the other one. Nice. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is a kid's show, Christmas, right? <laughs> it's a kid's show, don't say fuck up again. One damage. <laughs> and then, so. Oh, that's really irritating. <laughs> sorry, I did that out. <laughs> do the beep I'm not doing that <laughs> do. you know how I feel about extra editing work so I literally can't kill oh sorry so hang on so this actually activates now doesn't do anything because I defeated him uh huh and now I can't do one damage <laughs> oh no because I have a three I have a a car that's too expensive to play with my two energy and I have I have a Defensive card. So well, I, I I could use this energy to say action rather than generate one energy. That's a rule you can do in combat. Okay, but then you wouldn't be able to come and join us then in a super mega fight. Exactly. Um, do we think it's better or I? I don't think it's necessarily the worst thing in the world to leave one putty man alive. No, it's not. I think we you you'd be more useful coming and joining us in the big fight than staying to kill that one guy. Yeah, I agree. And can we move but this dude... But as someone who knows the game better, maybe I'm wrong. Can I move this dude over? I, I, yes, sorry, yeah, when I killed that card, that should defeat that card, that guy should have been taken away. Bye. Um, we're one-sixth away towards levelling up and getting his award. Um, we level yeah, up. Yeah, I uh, don't, yeah. I hate leaving guys alive. <laughs> because it's really bad in my experience to have it to not clear the board after yeah. in the first turn. But I think we're going to have to, right? I don't see a way around this. Mm. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah. So, do, well, my... do, but do you think it's better to come and get involved? Because uh, I think that's a big problem, right? But that's just because it looks like a big problem to me. Yeah, I think it is a big problem. So I think we we probably need to prioritize yeah, that. I right? think so. So I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. So that's the end of combat then, which means he doesn't die. That's really annoying. Oh my god! It's Mega Putty Patrol Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's leveled so, up. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't store the the one left over from the which goes away. And that uh, is the end of that. That's very frustrating. Well, maybe I'm just a shit Green Ranger. <laughs> right. No. So, no, he's so just a really sneaky. But he patrolled him. Yeah, well, let's 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 call him something. Let's give him a name. Huh? Um. Who is sneaky? Snape. Snape. He was called sneaky. Sneaky Snape. Mm, Severus. Who is the Who is uh, Kuzma's assistant in? in Kronk. Kronk. I think it's Kronk because he sneaked, didn't he? Kronk isn't sneaky. Didn't he sneak? He sneaked. Uh, yeah. Snuck. <laughs> Didn't he go sneak, 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 sneak? Like sneakers. Oh. Wasn't he going squeak, 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 squeak to the squirrel? I don't know. <laughs> um, I, yeah, so I guess when you, we, we agreed Michael was going yeah. to yes. go to high school um, because he needs to learn things. Don't hang out behind the bike shed the whole time. Kissing girls. Ugh. Oh, man. Smoking that. Stuff. I'm, special I'm, cigarette I'm, I'm, I'm sorry Michael I'm sorry is that how Power Rangers move <laughs> no <laughs> do it again this uh, time do it properly um 
It's muffin time. <laughs> I, I think they teleport. They teleport. Okay. In light of their own color. So do they go whoosh? whoosh. That's exactly what they do. <laughs> yes. Well done. Got it. They can uh, also be moved like subutio pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Like, Jason just wanted to go for a stroll <laughs> to school. All right. Are you using your second action to initiate combat? Yes, but I have to do it tomorrow. Oh, because we run out of time. Where are you going to do it tomorrow? You took too long not killing. <laughs> <laughs> I took long not killing something. That's like school's out. <laughs> if only he just laid down and died. Then <laughs> this whole thing. Well, it's because instead of fucking using the dagger to stab him, I was too busy showing him my amazing music skills. Hmm. And he's just in the audience like <laughs> <laughs> That's why his hand is like overgrown because he's playing so long clapping. Yeah. He's he's literally got crazy forearms from over clapping for the, the flute. Uh, the flute Green solo. Rangers solo. orchestra level <laughs> flouting. <laughs> what a flautist. <laughs> cool. Right, I guess I'll keep shuffling these till morning then. Bye, I hope you guys are excited to come on the Heroes of the Grid Power Ranger adventure. Power yeah. Rangers! You have fun with that, Chris. Well, okay. Let's go Power <laughs> Rangers! It's morphin' time! Da, 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 da. Down, oh, wait, let's do the slow thing. Oh, there's a cliffhanger in Power Rangers, isn't it? So it's like... Dun, 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 forever freeze.